Hello everybody and welcome to my wood shop. This is a chunk of redwood that John Gidman gave me. Thanks John, I really appreciate it. I've been looking forward to turning this stuff. It's really dry, really light, and it looks like it has a ton of potential. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut it into strips and get it ready for segmenting. And this is a chunk of maple that I'm going to use for the base of this bowl. Pretty piece, nice grain, it has some figure. And the rings of this bowl will consist of 16 segments with uh, flat pieces in between each. So I'm cutting at 11.25 degrees. Don't worry, I'm just going to show you the construction of one ring. In between each piece of redwood there's going to be a little piece of uh, very thin laminate maple. And this is the process that I use to cut the little pieces to the right height and length. I tried using scissors, but the pieces kept breaking. six rings of redwood with maple inserts and one ring of maple with mahogany inserts.
And now that I've got the base done, I'll take it off the wormwood screw and flip it around and mount it to the four jaw chuck in expansion mode. And then I'll get the rings glued onto the base here. This set of three rings and the other set of four rings have been drying for about seven hours at this point. And I let these three rings dry on the base for about two and a half hours. And then I added the other four rings. And let them dry for another three. And that was plenty of time to get to work on the bull.
So once I had it in the shape I wanted, it was onto the hand calipers. I found a couple of spots a little bit thicker, so I got those corrected and then moved on to the sanding. Maple has always been one of my favorites. This redwood though, what an absolute joy to turn. I said it before, it's like turning butter. And it's got some chatoyance. That mixed with that figured maple on the rim. I'm pretty happy with this. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching everybody. I sure appreciate it. God bless and Semper Fi.